Hey, hey everybody, what's up? It's Matt with Driver Studio. Wanted to give y'all an update on the Pontiac we've been working on. Now, this is a 68 Pontiac Le Mans, as I've talked about in some of the other videos. And we're doing this as a 69 GTO Judge tribute car, clone car, whichever you want to call it. And I wanted to walk y'all around it and show you what we've been playing with here. Now, <clears throat> the videos that I've shot before this car, I'm going to be putting all of them up really close together. Um, so if you're just now joining us, thank you for checking out Driver Studio. Remember, check us out online at driverstudio.com whenever you want to sell an automobile, car, truck, SUV, van, station wagon, hot rod, classic project, any auto parts, anything like that. Remember, Driver Studio, D R I V E R S S T U D I O.com. But, anyways, back to the car project. So, the previous videos just kind of been, uh, you know, updates on what we've been doing to this car um, now where we're at on this thing the motor and trans are back in this thing um, it's just got a mild built small block 350 just got a couple dressed up goodies here and there the uh, the motor as well as the firewall yes the heater assembly is all done as well base clear this is uh, exalta elite base uh, shot with 8840 clear um, just shot with my good old trusty Harbor Freight gun. The frame is all done in pour 15 all the way up underneath the car, all the way to the back, the underside of the belly. You know what? We're going to try to sneak underneath this thing. Let's see. I don't know how well this camera works lighting wise under here, but you can kind of get a glimpse under here. The belly pan is all done in Exalta or DuPont. It is 848PN5636, uh, semi-gloss black, one of my absolute favorite colors, semi-gloss black. Um, all the stuff you see on there is just kind of the sludge from wet sanding. About to clean this thing up here pretty soon, finish it up. Getting her ready for paint. So she's been all done, all the body work's done, all the major stuff. I'll probably do some dolphin glaze on a couple little pinholes that I found here and there. Let's see. Uh, this door was pretty bad. Um, just block a snot out of it. Nothing super crazy, just need a lot of blocking. Um, somebody had done previous repairs on this side of the car. They weren't horribly bad, but sorry about that if I'm kind of jerking the camera around, just trying to get it into a good angle. Uh, you know, just did a, a lot of block sanding. Um, had to redo this lower section of the quarter down there. Turned out pretty well. The wheel arch was pretty yucky. Uh, it's just, like I said, just dried up sludge. Sorry about that. My puppy dog's out there barking. I don't know if y'all can hear him or not. But yeah, got the wheel wheel arch looking right. Quarters looking great. Body lines are great. Gaps are great. In a previous video, I showed y'all the channel, how rusty it was and all rotted out. Repaired all that. Of course, the car has gorgeous floors, gorgeous trunk pan. Just a really, really nice, solid car. I'm super excited to get this thing finished up. This quarter panel's all blocked out. Like I said, the roof's all blocked out. As you can see, I got this door in guide coat. Need to get this door blocked out. But she's coming along. Um, floors are fantastic, this thing. Just really, really clean. We uh, just went through and shot the floors. In a, it's supposed to be like a black satin. It looks a little bit glossier here. Um, running an American auto wire harness throughout the car so yeah pretty much everything's new now um you know i'll put up some more videos once we have the interior in here got a fantastic new bench seat original bench seat all recovered and refoamed um the headliner in the car is in pretty good shape it's the original headliner really the car is in really good shape just have a little tear up there nothing stupid crazy but it's kind of it's not even a tear it's just where the stitching came apart so today i'm working on the dash assembly my buddy Tyler blew this dash apart, and I'm gonna be redoing, uh, respraying this chrome surround on the gauges. Um, I'm just gonna be running Duplicolor uh, rattle can chrome, which believe it or not, the Duplicolor stuff, it actually looks really good. Uh, my previous job, I sprayed a lot of mirrors for tour buses in the Duplicolor rattle can chrome. It looks really, really good. It does look like a kind of a high polished aluminum. Um, Almost like a, a shiny Alcoa aluminum wheel on a semi-truck or something. This is really good stuff. I really like that. 
uh, then I will be, you know, I can show you what I'm gonna be using as well. So let's see. This, let's see, grabbing this right here. Pardon my mess. I'm using this Dupli-Color. And to be honest, I haven't used the Perfect Match Universal Chrome. I used the other Chrome from Dupli-Color and it worked really, really well. They were out of that, so I got the Perfect Match. Hopefully it is a Perfect Match. Now this was from Amazon. I'm super excited about this. Now this is wood grain in a roll, vinyl. Uh, picked it up off Amazon. Sorry, I keep that in the camera shot as I'm looking at not paying attention. Um, but yeah, I picked this up, I think for 15 bucks or 13 bucks or something like that. Super inexpensive. So that's what I will be covering the face of the dash. So the Duplicolor Rattle Can Chrome, that is just to do the edges, the surrounds of the bezels um, of the plastic dash. So I'll be using a scuff pad. They're a 3M scotch Bright type red um, in, in color scotch Bright. So kind of have a good scuffing capability to them. I'll be using that to scuff up the dash assembly and then shooting the Duplicolor on there. I am gonna be using one other thing. I don't know if you saw this, I'll pull this out for you. Bulldog adhesive promoter. Now I know the Duplicolor, I can spray that over plastic, should be pretty good. But I do like to have the adhesive promoter on there just to kind of help things out. Uh, my experience with plastic, it really, really helps the stuff to stick. So I just kind of want to make sure, as well as when you're putting the vinyl down over the edges of the stuff you sprayed, you don't want to mess any of that up. So if you have better adhesion, it's a little bit more likely to not peel when you have that vinyl going over the top before you trim it. So anyways, just, you know, extra precaution. I'm sure it'll turn out just fine. And of course, I'll, I'll show you guys that as we're getting closer. So hopefully here in the next week or so, we will have the car ready for paint. And of course, I'll let you guys see that journey, um, jamming it all out. Actually, on this car, I'm not jamming it out like I've jammed out previous cars. I decided on this one, I'm gonna do an open door shoot. I am going to spray the car with the doors on it. The doors are all lined up really, really good. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to be spraying the car. The interior of the car, the inside of the car will be masked off. And I will be jamming the car while I'm spraying this back portion. Now, obviously, the deck lid, the fenders, the hood, the, the gauge assembly, the rear spoiler, the mirrors. Or no, actually, I take that back. The mirrors, we got new chrome mirrors. We were going to run uh, color matched mirrors, but we decided against that. Instead, we're doing chrome mirrors. But so all those pieces will be sprayed off the car, uh, the base coat clear coat. Once again, that's Exalter DuPont um, Elite Base with 8840 clear. The color that we're shooting it is uh, it's a 50-50 mix of Pierce Red as well as uh, Torch Red or Flame Red from Chevrolet. Can't remember, it's Torch or Flame. It's from 2005. So it was on the Corvettes and Chevy SSRs. So that is the color that we're shooting it, which I'll give you guys a little close up of that, of the firewall. You kind of see, hopefully, color kind of pops for you. Little bit dusty, just as we've been working on her in here, but beautiful rich red. Um, didn't do much crazy stuff to the firewall. I tried to prep it out as best as I could. Had a couple little things I shaved on the firewall, but nothing, nothing insane. It's pretty much stock firewall. Just really wanted to make it nice, uh, nice and clean, you know, have the base coat, clear coat. I will be doing the inside of the inner wheel wells. The engine bay side of the wheel wells will be done base coat, clear coat red as well. And then uh, the underside or the tire side of the wheel wells will be done in black bed liner. I, I find that the bed liner, as opposed to the undercoating, the bed liner really does repel dirt, mud, water, all that kind of stuff. They're easier to clean when you kind of use a undercoating. The undercoating tends to be softer, a little bit more porous. Stuff sticks to it a little bit worse, but that's just my personal preference. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just wanted to give you an update on this car. When we finally do get this car done, we will be putting it up for sale. Um, still lots of work to do on it, but I'm, I'm getting excited as we uh, get closer to that point where it starts to steamroll, hopefully in a good way, and get this thing all finished up. So thanks for checking it out. I'll make another video here soon. Um, hopefully I get all these videos up here real soon for everybody so you guys can kind of see what we've been working on. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted my YouTube channel. And remember to check us out online. Like I said, once again, for any time you want to sell any of your cars, trucks, SUVs, auto parts, any of that kind of stuff, look us up online, driverstudio.com. That's D-R-I-V-E-R-S-S-T-U-D-I-O. 
www.ethicsmartmoneyinvestors.com. We'd love to help you out. We're completely free. We're just a new, what I feel better way. And of course, free to go online and sell your cars. If you're tired of dealing with Instagram and Facebook and Craigslist Marketplace, you know, wherever you sell your cars, we're free. You don't have to do anything crazy. You don't have to, you know, give us an email to be able to go on there and check out somebody's phone number or, you know, direct message somebody in order to get their contact information. You don't have to do none of that stuff. Just go on there, check it out, see if there's a car on there that you like for sale. Look up the person's contact information right there. No secret hidden way of buying and selling a car. So hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. That's Driver Studio, D-R-I-V-E-R-S-S-T-U-D-I-O.com. You know where we're at. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Driver Studio, out.